Christina again and I thought I'd give you a view of some of my art journals. I usually make them out of altered books and I thought you might enjoy seeing the different varieties I have. Now some have already been on my channel because I made some flip throughs um, but there are also some new ones. Now there are different styles and I thought that might give you some new ideas. Now the very first one I ever did is this one. So this was made from an altar book. As you can see it still has a title page. And basically I dressed it up a bit with some old book pages and I always glued two pages together to give little sturdier pages. Now you can see all this if you follow the link in the iCards. Now this particular book was only uh, half the size but as I was working on it I took off the spine and replaced it with a piece of canvas. Uh, so it has a soft back but it helped it to breathe and stretch a bit and then I gave it a soft cover and I embellished it a little bit. So this was my first uh, journal I ever completed and I still very much like it uh, but this was in a book and and you always have to be a little more careful that you don't mess up the other pages and that none of your uh, colors seep through. So I did have to go back and fix up a couple of pages ever so often. And so I decided my next one would be a uh, loose leaf. So I came up with this. Um, this was actually a cookbook folder and it already came with the rings. And actually this is the original cookbook color but I decoupage the front to cover up the original title as well as the inside and then I just worked on loose leaves and yeah I really much enjoyed that now of course when you do loose leaf you have a lot more freedom to use your mediums to make it wet and messy but the back of your page will also get messy now I like when I'm done with all my work and I put my um, pages into a folder I like the folder to look nice so in this case I decoupaged very simple napkins on all the back sides just to pretty it up a little bit again you can see the the flip through of this one in my channel if you follow the i cards for this one I opted just for a very simple um, button and elastic closure like this and of course some embellishment and some little charms I always like to make them look fun to to look back onto and then I wanted to try a different format now this one basically is just the front and the back of a book in this case I took off the back completely and just added these rings um, but also some embellishment a very simple closure and this one I called random randomness and in this case I made small pages I made double pages and I also made some bigger pages like this and that worked quite well I really enjoyed that and in this case I colored the backside just with different acrylic paints and a credit card very quick but just to give it a little bit of a color and to cover up all the messes I make when I work. So again this was very simple. Um, as you can see I come on. I added a little craft paper and I always put the stamp just when I started it and when I completed it. I don't usually um, date everything every day. So that's another possibility that's super simple. Oops I need to glue that back down. All right, that's that one. And now recently I've been working on this one here. And um, there is a video either already up by the time you see that or it will become very soon how I de um, decorated this. It was a photo book. So it has these nice metal corners and a little metal uh, frame here to put a title in and this one I choose to just put small pictures so I thought it would be great for some quick uh, small mixed media pages 
when you don't have a whole lot of time. So there's only one, as you can see, I just started. And I am not sure yet what I'm going to do with the back side, but probably something. So this one, you can see in detail how I made this on a video. Okay, let's put that aside too. And then there's another one. This was also a cookbook and this went through a few transformations. Um, now I quite like the looks of it. But originally the cookbook had a spiral binding and I had the idea of just removing some of the pages, then gluing some of the pages together to make them more sturdy, I work on loose leaf and then cut my page and paste them on two opposite sides with a spiral in the middle, as there are some art journals who are set up that way. But honestly, I just didn't like it very much. First of all, the pages didn't glue very nicely. They were kind of very brittle and hard and bumpy, but also cutting my piece <laughs> in the middle just wasn't my thing. So I abandoned that uh, idea. And instead, I took the whole spiral thing out. That's why this is just a piece of duct tape, but that's okay. And I inserted one of those things I bought at a craft store. And now I'm going to do fold outs in this one too. I can use a normal size uh, mixed media pad paper and just fold it more or less in half so it reaches right to the um, binding here and well as you can see I only have one started though so these will be my two books I am working in right now which eventually I will do a flip through the only other one this this whole idea with the big binder I've done a second one and that is this one again it was just a cookbook binder in this case I made a cover for it with some, um, how do you call this, burlap. And again, it's just single um, pages and a flip through of this one will be coming soon. I just have a few more pages to go. And then last not least, I had found this really beautiful book, but in this case, I did not want to you know, glue pages together or glue ta take pages out. I wanted to keep it. I had um, posted a couple of videos about this book, even though I like the cover very much and I wanted to keep it intact. It is already a bit older and it started to, you know, crack a little bit. So I gave it a little cover here just to protect it a little bit. And this is a book I call Gentle Art Journaling. I use very soft mediums in here, mostly pastels, um, some markers so don't bleed, bleed through, some watercolor pencils, tiny bit of decoupage, those kind of things. So I don't have a lot of bleed through. There are tiny uh, bits sometimes, but not much. So the book can pretty much stay intact. And of course, this is a, uh, a lot more pages to go. And there are a couple of videos up about this book just as well. All right, and those were my little, my little tour through my journals. I hope you liked it. Bye bye for now.